folks, sorry it took me so long to get on. I'm still working on getting my all natural stuff together and I'm still cleaning. I had the lights put in and I have drywall dust all over my house and I'm still working on the bathroom. This is fall cleaning, folks. And then I'll do another cleaning after Halloween because, again, 360 around the house. So this is very exciting. And if you hear the ocean waves, my husband has the talk box giving us the ocean waves. And the reason why the ocean waves is because for our cruise, we went on, or for our anniversary, we went on a cruise. And my husband's been addicted to the sound ever since. Plus, we lived in Florida and we got used to going to the beach. So I'm very excited to finally start my pop sockets. Now, um, I did not put one into the inventory yet because we haven't got to that category yet. And what I pulled, um, no, I do have a Victoria's Secret bag very full. <laughs> and if you know how big a Victoria's Secret bag is, you understand how much I have in it. So I don't how much we'll get through. I don't really want to go past an hour. It is 1020. I'm going to try to watch a clock. Plus, I watched The Walking Dead. So, and then my husband wanted to watch Walking or Talking Dead too. So, now we did cut it off. Because I do have to get up somewhat early because my husband, my son has a Zoom IEP meeting with his um, special education director at his university. So for those who are excited about this, these are also, um, they're pop sockets, but I technically can't use the name, so they call them phone grips. Uh, if you watch the last video, I did show a blank. There are those who make them very thin. I worry about those that are very thin because they can easily pop off. If you do know what a phone grip pop socket is, the ones that you can buy at Walmart or some of the, even some Apple stores or Samsung stores or phone stores that you can buy, um, most of them are cheap plastic tops um, or gems that are very cheap um, or paper covered plastic. Mine may be epoxy, but I've put a lot of work into them and you will see as I go through them. Now, I did pull out some of the blanks and what colors I have left because I use them all. When I buy them, I buy 100, maybe 200 of them at a time. So I did bring out some colors so that you guys can see them. In the last video, I only brought out the black one here. Um, I will show you the generic that I was explaining to. This is the generic. Before I get into them, I want to explain them. Though I have never used any of these, but if somebody would prefer this one, um, I will discount them slightly, but I only have black and white ones. And that is if you want to put it on your phone so you can put your finger straight through it. And um, I just put my son's phone away. Let me grab his phone so that you can understand if you've never seen one before. And that is entirely possible. Um, some people may not have seen it before. So I want to be able to share that with you because some people might not have. You can put it to the back of your phone case, or you can put it to the back directly to your phone. You can put them to clipboards. And again, if you watch the last video, I did explain that you can put them to the back of clipboards. And you can put them back to the back of your tablets. And you can put them back, as you can see, to the back of your phone. I've also seen people, even with these type of ones, where you can put them in your, phone, um, your car and hang items to them. So they're multi-use, so they're, you don't have to put them just on your phones. Um, clipboards, you can put one on both sides of them. You can put them, like I said, on the back of your tablets on both sides to make it easier for you to hold them. And they're fun. If you get the name brand ones, they're easy to screw off the top. The more generic ones, they have tabs, and I'll show you that on these. These don't come off, though. The tops of these more generic ones do not come off. Um, that is why I don't like them, but at the same time, you can like them if you want them just for one. And again, it makes it easy to hold your phone. Um, they are 3M tape, and the ones who have received them have told me they've held extremely well. And, and it will pop down and go down. Now, again, it's not directly on the phone, so it's not going to hold because it's not down on the phone. 
pops down. Again, it's not on the phone, so it's not something that you can see it will go down. And you're seeing me doing it 20, 30 times here. That's the generic one. I do have them in black and white. I do not have them on any of my pop sockets. Um, again, clipboards, tablets, phones, any of those type of ideas that you want. Right now, these are the ones that I still have left. They come in red, yellow, blue. It's a light blue, um, green, this color green, the lime green. Purple is the new latest color, which I have been using on some. You'll see those as I go through my pop sockets. Uh, white, black, gray, uh, and a tan. I rarely use the tan or the gray. Um, you'll see me use a lot of the red and the pinks and the blues. Um, so I've actually used most of those. The whites I've already used in this last batch. Uh, again, I have 390, and then I probably have another 50 left. Not even, I wouldn't even say that, maybe 40 from this last 100 that I bought. So I probably, ow, 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 that hurt. So just so you know that. Now, some of mine are thin, some of them are thick, depending on how many layers that I've had to pour. Um, that also depends on what I haven't integrated in. Some of them are just basic round shape, depending on what I've poured or used the mold or multiple molds that I have used. You'll understand that because as I've explained with the clips, the lanyards, the keychains, uh, whether I've made them into shakers, whether I've used different molds. So I just want to explain that. And again, I will refer how this is all going by going back to video one. Um, again, I have my own shipping method. I no longer use directly through the post office. So again, it is food touch safe. Um, all my resin is when people say it's food safe resin, it is food touch safe. That is not where you can stick it in a microwave or dishwasher. Don't leave anything directly in the sun when it comes to resin. I'm not playing right now, Coco. Coco wants to play. And um, so it is hand wash and uh, room temperature with a mild soap. So again, I would tell you to go back to video one to understand how this all works. I am showcasing everything here on YouTube and anytime I finish something new, it will be showcased. I'm gonna try to gather up as many little items as possible and um, and then I will showcase it here on YouTube. I'm sorry if I bought the camera. And then I will post it on my Facebook channel, Charming Custom Crafts. It might be easy for you to find it under Charming Crafts. Um, and then it'll be listed there for sale. Uh, right now I'm trying to also, um, I'm bringing back my all natural line. So again, go back to the first video. So while I'm posting this, I am setting up all my supplies. And um, it doesn't take me long to make all my stuff because I used to make it before, only I'm expanding it massively to fully blown lines. Um, and, and this time I'm doing men's line and a pet line. Though I've had pet line for it before, but I always had it for myself. So again, I refer you back to video one to explain everything. Um, so I don't want to do diddy daddle around. I've already explained this for eight minutes on this stuff. So I'm going to go through and I'll probably show if there's multiples, but yet different, I will probably only show one and then I'll explain it in detail. These are my motorcycles and um, each one of them are different in their own right. That one currently is my husband's favorite. Some of them are reverse painted and they are hand painted with very tiny brushes. Matter of fact, let me grab you. I'm going to let you look at these while I do that. They're hand painted with very tiny little sponge brushes. Um, I don't use very often little brushes, you know, paint brushes. I use very teeny weeny ones, and this is, I got one here, I guess, but a lot. Um, I even have tinier than this that I use. I want you to see how tiny my little paint brushes are, sponge brushes. And I actually use tinier than this. And my eyes are very bad sometimes, so I use bifocals and magnifying glasses, but they are very tiny. They're actually, I have some very tiny or much smaller than this by half when I hand paint. So some of these are this size, some of them are half and even sometimes a third this size. So you know when I do a reverse canvas paint on these molds or on these pictures that they are much tinier. So these are my motorcycles. Now, whether you're a guy or girl or you're just a motorcycle fan, 
um, I wanted to start it out with that. Now, some of this is mica. Some of these are acrylic paints that are painted in. Um, some of them are sand. You're going to see that I actually put little pebbles in. Depends on what it is. Um, some of them glow in the dark. Some of them have glow in the dark features to them. But these are thinner than normal. I'm going to show you one. Some of them are or are not. This one has a blue. I don't have a blue one in here. This one's a blue pop socket. This one is a black one and a black one, but this one's a blue one. This one has lightning bolts, a cloud. This is three different pores to get the effect. Can you see how thin that one is? And with me showing you this is as a prime example, you see those little tabs here. You can pop them in and you can change the top. And it's not like the screw on with the original pop sockets. But there is your um, stormy sky. And you can see where it has a clear top, clear layer here. That's the first layer. And then I go in and I put a cloudy sky in. That's one little layer. This is hand painted in down here with mica. And then I go in and I put another layer in here and another layer here to get the effects. But that is a three point, a three point pour, three level pour. She must have saw something in the backyard. Sorry. <clears throat> One here has a rainbow with a rainbow glitter, hologram like glitter. These are hologram lightning bolts. And I put them in with tweezers. These have a glow of dark stars in it. This is a nighttime sky with clouds. And of course, Mickey wants to come say hi. And then I put a dirt road down in here. Now that is with a mica and with sand. And of course, they always start with a little bit of clear so that I could put my pieces in to stick and then a rainbow. So those three are my motorcycles. I only have three motorcycles. Generally, they come when I have pieces inside, either ones to threes. I'll keep going because I have a lot. For those who like gnomes, I do have another one coming eventually. And this is a reverse hand painted gnome. Stop, Mick. And he says, hi. That is a hand painted reverse. Stop it, Mick. And that is a hand painted piece with some shells in here. And I will show him. That's a reverse forest hand painted canvas piece. That's all hand painted. I had to wait in between layers and then it's it's kind of like Bob Ross hand painting but backwards. And then uh, again, every piece starts with clear. And I did put high in here with cubes, cube beads. Let me show you this one so you can understand how reverse hand painted it is. Some of the pieces, because they get thick, it's because it depends on the piece that I put inside of it. This is white. That one is black. And then you can see how it's reverse layered in there. It's pretty cool. And you can see that the background is slightly blue for it to be a um, clear sky. That's why I choose certain background pop sockets. So you can see that blue. And it gives you that three dimensional layer look and 3D look. Oh, one that says hi with vines and one it doesn't have lettering in it, but it has the forest to look. <clears throat> I have so much to show you guys. 
And by the way, this is just video one. I have so many pieces. Guys, there's no way I can fit them into one video unless you want to spend all day. For those who like Sally's and doll faces, here we go. I have all these Sally's and they have, they're all individually done. They're all individuals. This is frosted Sally. This is another frosted Sally. That one's done with a blue pop socket, black pop socket, and they're all different. And I will show you one so you get understanding. I'll show you the doll. That one's more blue. And this is about four, pour, four or five pours. They're all individually done. I also use UV resin. One of these is glowing in the dark, by the way. And this one's done with darker blue. And then I did one as a doll. So you can see what I can do with the different ones. I wanted to try it in a different way. So let me show you. Let me show you this one. No, let me show you. Let's do a frosted one so you guys can get the understanding. This mold comes where it's reversed and it's a relief. And then I have to turn and flip it. So you can see the multi-layers to this. It's actually three pores plus painted. So it actually comes with these pieces lifted up. And then I sit and I paint them. And then I turn and I add resin in here, or UV, UV resin. I lock that in. And then I have to reverse it back down into the mold. And then I pour it back in again. Otherwise, it looks funny with it sticking up. So it gives a bigger thickness. But with the, the one or two that's glow in the dark, it's very cool. It gives that ominous look a little bit more to Sally. So they're either blue or black. Let me show you the dolly. Her, I left her a little bit farther back with relief so that you can feel her face. And you can see how it sticks up just ever so slightly. So I can do them differently. So I can even make them look more like aliens. This particular model, and she is on pink. Just to show you. Depends on how you want to do her. Any colors, those are how I do my Sally one. Okay, so for the shakers, I did three star shakers. I have the red and pink shaker, the light lavender and purple shaker glitter, and then this is like the pink, red, and light blue hues. So I think I'll show this one. I have that one's on purple, that one's on pink, and this one is on pink. They are all shakers, and again, all my shakers are more expensive because of the extra time I have to put into the shakers. Again, you can flip them out with another one, and they are, trust me, not coming off. This one has hearts and glitters and uh, beads in them. They are translucent. This one is more opaque. Very cool pop socket. There's only three. I will probably, when they sell out, probably make more. When I know my stock is low, then I will make more. But that's the reason why I have to do an inventory list, because right now my inventory consists of the number of pop sockets. So I have one Mickey head of this latitude, and that is the flat one with the Cinderella's castle. You guys have already seen it in a keychain, lanyard, and clip, and this is the red and pink one. And it is on a red pop socket. 
And trust me, once again, it is not going anywhere. Again, if you want to see where it would look like, where did I put my son's phone? And again, you can put them on clipboards, iPads. If you want to just stick it in your car to look cool, you can probably put it in your car and then stick your sunglasses on it. As long as you put it in a location where it's not going to get direct sunlight or direct heat. Again, this Cinderella castle in the middle because it's got more of the red sparkle. And it does have the Mickey Mouse icon glitter in it. That's all the uh, glitter that I put in my Mickey Mouse heads. I only have one of those, of the large ones. Moving on, folks. For those who like geos, I have purple ones and blue ones. Now these have been sprayed after being made because I put the gold rim around the side. No two are the same. I will show one for each. This one has white on the white one, black one, white one. This is an oval one. That's black, black, and black. These are purple ones. I put glass in them. I put the, if you guys have been watching and listening, I did put um, the fire glass in them. They will all be cleaned and ready to go. It's just been sticking in there. That is the fire glass in them. So those are the purple ones. <clears throat> they will all be cleaned with alcohol, dried, air dried, and you can pick which one you want. These two will be in the same category where they will be labeled. And again, if it's sold out, <clears throat> then um, if you like a particular style on which one, and I will let you, uh, and these have, instead of fire glass in them, they have bubbles. Here's the oval. Here's the other design. So instead of fire glass, I used like a bubble design, so it looked more like crystals. I'm going to show you that one. It's very pretty. So I did more of the teal on this one. The teal might be more of a teal agitate. Let's see. White, black. Black, black, white, white. The 24 karat gold sides. So it looks like it's got rings on that one. Look how pretty that is. And you can see it like it's got like crystal bubbles around it. So pretty. Got you covered. Each one of them has six designs. There's 12 in total. There's an oval for each one. And then more of the crystal, crystal designs on five. There's the blues and the purples. I will eventually get around to do more of the, the dragon ball colors, the fire colors, and the pinks with the golds. I have different shapes you guys will get a chance to see. I'm putting some aside. For those that are Disney fans, um, these are the Disney shapes. There is Daisy Duck and the Sum Sum, Donald Duck and the Sum Sum. There is Pooh Bear, 
These are my cheaper ones, just so you guys know that. These will probably run about $12. There is, um, why is his name Flash, not Flash? This is Crush, or Crush's dad, or Crush? Um, my husband told me that I dig. I don't know why I can't think of his name right now. And then one of the 101 Dalmatians, that's the only one Dalmatian one I have. And then, I have a brain fart. There's a rabbit from the... Oh, I know that movie. See, I might, late at night I've been having problems with seizures, so pardon me. There's Kermit. So I'm going to show you. And these are my cheaper ones, just so you guys know that. They might be $12 or $15. You'll understand why. You'll know the prices when I put them up. These are going to be, I have, the, my pop sockets are going to range from $10, again, to $35. Just so you guys know that. Um, you'll understand the $35 one when I get to it. Um, and it's completely hand custom designed by me and completely my idea. And I'm actually going to teach it. Not afraid to teach it. That one takes me about six hours to make, upwards to six hours, uh, depending on which way I make it. Um, and that is for me to show other designers how to make it. If you're willing to put that kind of time into making it, so be it. Um, and so that you guys understand why I charge so much for that one. So there's Kermit. This is a two-part pour, um, but they because they're on the upper end of the lower price, this it's only a two-part pour. When I get to the reverse hand painted, <clears throat> you understand why I'm going to be charging about twenty to twenty-five dollars for those when I hand paint and do three to four parts. And the hand paints take me a while to do, so you can understand why I charge that much for them. So, um, and considering that the cheaper pop sockets are $15, um, and they're basically paper, I think I uh, deserve a little bit more. Um, so these might be, these might be $15, um, 12 to 15, uh, probably more $15, but I do have some that will be, just, just watch, they'll probably be 15. Um, they might be cheaper, um, probably. Because I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to look and check Etsy, and I'm going to be more fair. Um, so don't just discourage. They're going to be cheap. So there's 101. I'm going to pick one from all of these. Let's do Daisy. Daisy don't get enough credit. So I'm only going to pull one from each one. She's a sum sum. And there's Daisy. And this is the ice design. He's black. These would probably be 15. Yeah, these would probably be, they'd probably be close to $15. 12 or 15, I don't know, guys. I'll, I'll look it up. But I'm going to be running specials all the time, so I don't want you guys to get discouraged. And I do mean that because um, I do specials all the time when I used to sell Avon. So it will be like if you buy a certain amount, you'll get like a free lip balm that I make. Um, so don't literally get discouraged. i always going to run specials. So for those who like... Um, Adventures and DC Comics, I've got your back on that too. So there's Thor. There's Iron Man. Another iron type of man. There's Spider-Man. There's Captain America. I got you guys covered. There's another Thor. So I'm going to show you this Thor. Oh, I got everybody covered, so don't get discouraged. I have so many designs. You're going to be like, I love you. I have everybody pretty much i don't have animes right now but i will get animes so this is a gold red design and these you won't have a problem picking up they are not thin like the cheap ones that pop socket has so you're going to have no problem gripping these and imagine getting two of these and putting on a clipboard or your ipad you're going to easily be able to grip it from behind if you had two of them on your iPad, 
My hands always have resin on them, guys. So just, yes, I know you're supposed to wear gloves. I have a hard time wearing gloves, especially when most of the gloves out there have um, latex in them. And even if they don't say latex, I have a really hard time wearing them because I still have reactions to gloves. Um, but I don't have a problem with light, um, with resin. And I keep alcohol constantly around me, 91%. And um, baby wipes, so I'm constantly wiping my hands. And that's the reason why I have... A tons and tons of bottles of um, hand sanitizer that's full of alcohol, so I'm constantly wiping my hands. I literally have boxes, big baby, you know, big boxes like diapers of baby wipes, and I have a box of trash constantly underneath what I work, and I'm constantly wiping my hands, but getting it under my nails. That's why you no longer see me with nails. But anyway, imagine putting two underneath your iPad. Even on your cases, it's a lot easier to grab it. So they're very cute. So there is the Thor. I have you guys covered. I'm also going to be making them into magnets. I already started some. You're going to see those in the future. So they're very cute. So whether you want the head, partial body, the more cartoonish look, like a sum sum, got your back. I have to put them back on the, the pegs, guys, because I have so many. For the for the people who like Grumpy, and if you go to Disney, there's always tons of stuff for the Grumpy. I do have a couple more of Grumpy coming, but right now I only have this Grumpy, okay? So this is the only Grumpy I have in stock right now. I think I have two more that will be coming. There might be a few more. I have to check my stock of pieces. This is, again, a reverse canvas. He's on a black pop socket or a phone grip. It is hand painted in. And then I put a cloud behind him and he's pretty mad. So currently he is the only one I have in stock that's made. And then I put lumps of coal in here. And these are actually, um, these are really cute. These are the colored half backs stones. So there, um, there's some black stones here and then colored gems here. I have poor lighting right now, but if you look on the side, you can see that they're colored. So these are gems from the um, from the mine, and then this is coal from the mine. So he's pretty mad, and you can see his finger off to the side. Very cute character. So Grumpy is not too happy right now. So right now, I only have one Grumpy in inventory that's completed. That is a reverse canvas painted a three-part pour on him. So I have not forgot my Minnie Mouse fans. You're going to see many different styles of uh, Disney coming up. Um, and that is because these are two-part pours. Now this is a two-part pour Minnie. You'll see the three-part Minnie and Mickey. Um, this is a two-part pour, and you're going to hear me say two-part, three-part, or four-part. And they're categorized differently. And that's where I said that the price changes and varies by that. Um, and like the reverse canvas, you'll hear me talk about that when I say reverse painted. And those cost more money. Um, this is a two-part pour. So it's a difference in price. So that is a Samsung Mini. That is a Mini Mouse hair bow with glass and glitter. And so they're cheaper when I get into those. There is Pluto with a diuretic glass look. And there's a Mickey head with a two-part pour and the um, double glitter there, chunky glitter. And there's an old-fashioned black and white Mickey. So let's see. Let me show Pluto. Because that does have real glass in it and Minnie's bow. Depends on what you want. And again, I will show you that um, this one is black back, red back, black back, black back. And this is a black bag. And I do it with the diuretic glass look. And again, every single one of them, as you see, has a clear beginning. That's what helps hold the pieces in. And you can see it has a diuretic glass look. And Pluto is cute. I don't have that many Pluto pieces. See, I would have one on my phone. I'm going to tell you why I don't. is because I do flat charging. Um, but that's not even the real reason we have a Tesla. 
And uh, we uh, we obviously open and close. Uh, we start our car with the Tesla, but we have a flat charger in our car, and we always have to make sure our car is charged, or my phone is charged. So uh, we have a flat charger in our car. Um, so that's why I have to make sure that my phone is always charged. I have to put it on the flat charger. So I could use the US char USB type charger with a cord. It's just easier for me to just instantly put my phone down, so. Okay, for those who love Lilo and Stitch, these are two-part pores, which means they're cheaper than the reverse canvas ones. Again, that's why I said I have to sit down and do some price comparison when I put them in inventory. That doesn't mean I won't share them, but these will be the cheaper ones. That is the red um, little alien from Lilo and Stitch, and this is with the tropical background. It's on a red background one, and I'll probably show that one. This is the little voodoo doll character, and it's on the tropical glitter background with Lilo, or Stitch, sorry. And this is the ice background with Stitch. And this this is the sea background with the blue, um, blue in the back. And it's, again, these are two-part background, or two-part four. I really, I, no, I don't want to show you that one. This one, you can understand, it's got the glitter, it's got the... Multicolor green glitter, and then I threw in some pink, the pink glitter, the chunky pink glitter, so it looked like it was a tropical mix. It's got, I did a light layer, and then I waited a little bit with the pinks, and then I put another little layer on very quickly uh, afterwards. So technically, that's a three-part pour. That's red background. That's a black background. This is a blue, or not background, pop socket. That's a blue pop socket. And this one... And there's four of these. That's why I said to start making your list. This one's gray. And I did gray because a little character here's uh, face is gray. And he's got a little gray on his belly. And again, every single one of them starts with a little bit of white so that it locks in my pieces. And again, it has some green. Super cute, right? And again, if you ask me if I have those pieces again, I'd tell you no. Um, some of them I do, some of them I don't. That's the only one I had of that one. I believe that's the only one I have of that one. I could always double check. But when I go into ordering more right now, I'm going to use what I have in stock. And then I will order more later. Um, my Star Wars fans, let me take care of you. I have plenty of Star Wars. So I think I'm going to go with the dark side. We will go with the dark side before we go to the good side. So let's go with the rebellion. Actually, I have a bunch of, sorry, I don't mean to keep knocking this, but Mickey is once again wanting his stardom. So we have uh, two pegs of Star Wars. So uh, we have the rebellion side. Um, Baby Yoda is going to go pretty fast. We have a Yoda himself. Yoda Man, we have a Stormtrooper, um, we have Dark Vader, which he is very hard to see, and I try to put him as close to the front as possible. We actually have two Rebellions in red, so I actually have two of them, and I have, and I know this guy, and I was just thinking of his name because I knew it was going to come up. I, I'm telling you, when I forget a simple word, and it's because it's not because I'm having a brain fart, it's because I'm I start having seizures, and I have like six different seizures, and sometimes it's just me forgetting a word. You'll hear me do this in the videos, and like 10, 10 minutes, maybe five minutes, even 30 minutes later, I'll remember the word, and I'll show that out. But um, go ahead. You guys can say it. It's there. But um, here's a little red-headed, red, red devil dude, and I'll, you'll hear me say it probably in about 10 minutes, but um, I've got him. He's on black. And he's on red. He's also on red. I tried to go with more of the galaxy background when they have more prominent colors. But I went with uh, gold with him because he already had so much red and black. It didn't make any sense to do a gold or a, a, a dark galaxy background. And then these guys with no, no issue doing like, he has the diuretic glass background. He has the more galaxy background. Ba Baby Yoda has more of the galaxy background. So does actually Yodo himself. 
And then Stormtrooper has the galaxy type background. I made my own like galaxy background glitter. And then Dark Vader, of course, has red. So let me see. Let's show Yoda. I think I showed Baby Yoda and something else. Either a clip or a lanyard. And he's on green, of course, to match him. And I think he might be the only Yoda I have. Maybe there's one more. I have another peg of Star Wars. And I believe the Star Wars uh, characters are going to go pretty quick. And it pulled down a little bit because his ear, but you can clearly see his ear on the side. So it pulled part of the galaxy. And you can see the galaxy, like the glitter becomes almost like planets. But it's very shiny. I believe the next peg actually has one of each character. I don't know. We'll see. But these are the two-part pours, which makes them cheaper. Then uh, three, three, three-part pours and the reverse canvases. Okay, here's the second one. So there's Luke, and I only had one Luke. B BB3, BB BB8, Wookie, C3PO, R2T2, and then another Dark Vader. So we have those. So I almost had all the characters. I don't. I have never found um, Han Solo, and I haven't found. Um, I haven't found Princess Leia yet. So if I ever find them, those would be great to have. So let's, um, that one's on black. I usually do them all on black. Dark is on black on this one. Wookie's on black. They're all, that's a red space one. And then this one's a space background. C-3PO's on space, but he's on yellow because he's yellow. Actually gives, I have a pop quiz for you. He did. He had a different color leg. Do you know what color his leg was in the first movie? See if you know that, because he wasn't all gold, by the way. Didn't. Uh huh. See if you were that smart on a um, movies. I know, because I'm a Star Wars nut. Um, and then BB-8, and then uh, Luke. I know I only had one Luke, so somebody's gonna get lucky with Luke. Only one Luke, and this is my only one Luke. One Luke. There's Luke. So I made him flat black because he needed to be just solid. Because I knew he was the only one I had, and I'm like, no, no galaxy for him. I keep looking at my phone because I, I'm getting alerts on my phone. I have deer that's just walking around my house. So that is the Star Wars two-part pour. Okay, so I have some more Sally's. These is this is a different this is a different type Sally mold. Not a big fan of this one. Somebody out there might like it, and if you want, can come up with a different way to do this one, I might try this as a dolly look. Um, I really don't like this mold. That's why I only did two of them, but I might try it like with a doll face, you know, with a skin tone, but it, it's very thin and then it has another layer behind it with red. So I tried it with clears and it just looks so funny, but you know, somebody might like it. Somebody out there might like the whole, um, Tim Burton look, which is what I went for instead. I, after doing this one, I did more of the Tim Burton look on this one. It's all all in clears. Um, and I'll show you. Let me show you the Tim Burton look on this one. So after doing that one, I, I thought, okay, I want to go with the flow and do like a Tim Burton look. And I'll show you this. This one's got the red back. I think that one I did red. Yeah, red one. So it's so weird. It's a very thin layer, and then it's got a thin layer for hair, and then it's got another layer here. It's a very thick mold. Um, so you can see that it's got a very thin layer. Literally, the hair, it's like a hair layer where it's it, several hairs thick, but it's not very thick. That's her face. And then her hair is like right off the back, right behind it. 
And then it's got her face or her face and then her hair and then like another background. So I went with it and then I painted it in. So this is the second one I did. And I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of cool. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to call this like my Tim Burton mold of Sally. Um, so I might try it with um, a, um, a flush tone and see how it comes out like a, like a um, Halloween doll look. Like she's like a horror doll. And see how that comes out. Let me know what you guys think if I should try it that way. So then I turned around and did her with white over the, uh, in darker colors. And then with the white, well, that I did it with the white. Because I thought it would look really funny the first time. So instead of doing it with the black, I did it with white. And then I tried it with more of the translucent colors. So maybe I'll try it with um, blush tones and make it more like a Walking Dead type doll. So let me know what you think about that. I think it came out cool. I mean, it's it's unique. I like unique. Okay, for the new mommies, um, I thought of you. Um, it's, this would be a good gender reveal. And I thought these came out really neat and they're unique. Nobody's done these. So this is my own concept for the new mommies. And these would be great to give out for gender reveals or for telling daddy that you're um, pregos. So, I mean, I, I haven't been able to have children since I was 22. Um, first of all, I was told I couldn't have children, but I had my tooth tie cut and burnt at 22 um, because I, I was told if I had any more kids, it would kill me. And then um, even getting pregnant would kill me. So at 27, um, I, was, well, I was supposed to have a hysterectomy at 25, and then I had a really messed up doctor that was like Frankenstein. And then um, I absolutely had to have the hysterectomy at 27. Um, so I had to hysterectomy. So I haven't, unless I'm the new um, Saint Mer I'm Saint new Virgin Mary. Um, Jesus is mommy. If I grew new organs, I would be more than happy to have babies. And I would love to have had more children, but it was not my cards. But for those who are having babies, those who want to put this with a, uh, a um, PP stick, this would be really cute. Whether you're revealing that you're having twins or triplets, I was able to figure out how to do that. Um, this is a really cute idea. I mean, again, this was my own concept. So, and, or you already know, and you would like to, if you have a small name, or you want to do A, B, and C, I came up with a really good idea. Now, during the process of this uh, sealing, some of the letters moved. Um, which I thought was cute anyway because it makes it even more unique. But here's my little babies. I'm going to go one at a time. And it has little chicks and then little piggies and little panda and little kitty cat and a and little uh, doggy up in here for a little girl. And you can see where the G turn. Um, but it's super cute. It has white on the back to match the white lettering. So that's a little white pop socket. And then I have my little brown babies, which I absolutely like, where it's, uh, for triplets, there's baby A, baby B, baby C, with the white background, and on the white one, it's pearly background. That's for my triplets. And then I have my little peachy babies, and A, B, and C with three little hearts. And if you notice, I put three little hearts up in here. These are my ideas. Nobody uh, gave me this idea. I just came up with the idea. They are a little thick. And there's for a little boy. And then it's got duckies and frogs and pandas. Super duper cute on both sides with hearts. And it says boy. It's all peachy boy. And then I have a little brownie baby girl. And then I just, just super cute. And it's got a little, it's the same as the baby girl. It's just my little brownie baby girl. And they're both on white. And then um, it's the same with the the girl's a boy here, right? Yeah. See, they're both the same. Super cute. Tan babies. And then here's my single baby boy, or single peachy boy, double, or single peachy baby, single double babies with hearts. And the silver backgrounds are great. But silver gray backgrounds, but sparkly. They're not really great. They're just very sparkly. Let me put that way. It's lots and lots of glitter. And they're both white. So I have singles and doubles. 
and then singles and doubles and my tanny brownie babies. So singles and doubles, and I can do that with triplets, so if anybody wants to do that. Very freaking cute. And I, if anybody has a different tone that they would like, or lighter or darker, I can hand paint the babies. If you want me to paint them like aliens, I will paint them like aliens, but I think they were adorable. And again, I could put some letters in here. I cannot do more than three. Though, if you wanted me to do like two pop sockets where it's A, B, C, D, E, and F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I could do that. And we can, if you had to explain that you were having six babies. And, and that would be really, really humorous. Um, I have some more double layer comic strip characters. So there is the Incredible Hawk. Another Incredible Hawk here with um, glitter of um, yellows. Another Thor, another Captain America, and another Captain America. So let's do this Captain America. Let's not do that Captain America. Hmm. Well, we could. Hmm. That's just too pretty. Let's do Thor. I told you I got all you guys covered, too. Who doesn't love this? This one's on gray because of his helmet. I have everybody covered. So I have a little bit of gray glitter in with the silver glitter. This is like old school Thor. Right? I think he's cool. And these are the double pores. Again, it's a double pour. Why? If you guys can remember, it's because I start with a single layer of clear to lock in my first piece. I have to let it dry, my piece, my centerpiece. And then Incredible Hawk here, Bruce Banner has green, Captain America here has blue, Incredible Hawk has a black here, Captain America has a black here, Thor has gray. Because I have to lock in my centerpiece, and then I have to go back in and then do the backing. Okay, my Toy Story fans, I have some doubles, double pours. Here is my alien. He's in a form of a cupcake. And if you guys remember, he's from the claw machine, but he's made into like a cupcake. And see, I put some stars in it. See that little star up there? And then I have Woody, or Woody's horse, Bullseye. And I have Woody. And then I have an alien here. I put, gave him the galaxy background. He's on green. Woody's on red. Bullseye is on is it yellow. No, he's on tan. And then the alien like cupcake is on green. So who do we show? <laughs> Let's show the alien. See the galaxy background. I love my glitter that I designed. I mixed it just right. Now, there are not all my pieces. Obviously, you're seeing that they're not all the standard circle. You're going to see more of them. I have barely started. Again, I'm sorry if I bump this. I'm checking time. I don't even think I've really gone through more than three lines of that tower. Okay, what do we have? Oh, we have the roses. I want to make sure we get the roses. We're going to finish up here very quickly. I have my roses here, and these have been done with a sheen. You will love them. They have a sheen to them. I'm going to grab a drink here. They have a sheen to them that I have rubbed into them, and then I sealed them with a spray. Sorry, let me take a second. I rubbed on a sheen, which gives them a metallic look to them. I can not only put it into the resin, but I can also rub it in. You guys would know this by if you get gel nails done. 
You guys know how you get that two-tone if you get nails done. I buy that stuff too to also put it into resin. I also do it to rub it into certain pieces. I did put these on my flowers. I've been considering making these into keychains, but I think they're a little bulky, but I'm, I am considering making them into clips and lanyards. They are coming. I'll probably make them in another month or so. So let me show you. I have the teal with a purple sheen, the black with a rosy red sheen, the pink with an orange fire sheen, the red with a purple sheen, the purple with a green sheen. The purple glitter with the, the, I think it's the green black sheen. The, this is the sage with the pink sheen. And then like the yellow orange with the purple sheen. So I'm trying to think which one I really want to show. Um, let me show you this one. This is the purple with the teal sheen. And they all have a little pearl in the middle that I have locked in. Each one of them fit different color pop socket. And I have resealed it with a spray. They're hard little boogers to get down in there. Some of them have sparkles in them. I don't know if you can see the sheen that's in it. You'll have to see it better in daylight. But if I move it just right, you'll see the sheen. Works way better in sunlight, but it has that teal sheen to it. And then this one has stars in this one. But it totally glitters and sheens up in sunlight. This one has a white background. Pop socket. When in doubt, I do match it to the the pearl. These would be beautiful on the back of a phone, but also on the back of a clipboard. If you have a clientele and you have key keyboards or, or clipboards, not to mention if you want to put something like this in your car to hold your phone or glasses, these are amazing. I know when I donated some to um, the vet's office, he took a couple home to his daughters that went crazy over them. He told me last weekend when I put my daughter, well, you heard me see my other daughter down, my, my little Rose. And um, I asked him how um, he liked the kitty and doggies. And um, he said that his daughters went crazy over them. So here are the flowers. Oh, I just keep seeing that purple or that teal sheen. It's just so pretty. So those are the flowers. And again, I will describe them uh, and take pictures of them when I post them. Now we're getting down to where the, the bulk mass of the other ones as well. And they're very pretty. Now they're the ones that are coming up are made. Well, I'll do Jack first. I think I showed you the ones in keychains. And I said that I had some in uh, pop sockets. So you get to see my Jacks. These are my Jack pop sockets. This one's in purple and white. And it's on a white one. This is my black glitter on orange. And it's probably on black. That one is my diuretic purple. I read a glass looking on purple with purple and white that's probably on white. And this one is a Mad Jack. Um, with white and it has uh, glitter in it that um, it's like a mylar glitter that's in the background. And he's got glitter in his face, and it's on black. 
This one is a pearlized completely, which you can see. Oh, I got deer at my mailbox, which is purple, and it's got it on white. And this is a black ebony one with white pearlized, or white, painted white with glitter in its eyes and its mouth and nose, and it's on white. This is a harvest moon one with glitter with black glitter around its mouth and nose. It's on black. And this is a white, white jack on black, and it's on white. And let me show you this one. No, wait, let me show you this one, the, the really pearlized uh, jack. With purple paint, and they all have been sealed with paint, by the way. Triple thick at that. Jacks are cool. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jacks available. And you can notice they're all unique with their own right. I made all the jacks fun. So each one of your jacks will be yours within your own right there. Again, I also have them in keychains. I probably will make some in clips and lanyards soon. Now, what I have coming up here um, are made from sand, both Florida sand that I, I got sand in Florida from the beaches, and I believe the sand is from Siesta Key um, and Key West sand that I mixed together. The other sand is, if you remember, if you watched my videos from um, our Tesla trip, you would have actually watched me get the sand from San Francisco Bay, um, from the beach there. If not, go back and look at the video. You'll actually see me pick up the sand. Two of them are not. And um, actually, no, they do have sand from Florida sand. They're just made differently. They're beautiful. They're also made with, um, what are they called now? They're... Um, They're not called charms anymore. Um, the, the, no, the, bezels, the bezels, bezels. They're called bezels. See, I remembered something, guys. So these are called bezels that I worked into special little um, pop sockets. So I'm going to show you the ones that are from Florida sand, and I think they're beautiful. And it's a little look into the beaches and waters of the deep. So I think they came out beautiful. Each one of them are different within their own right. And um, I made them in from the molds. And this one has seashells around the side. I will pull one from each one. There's actually three different designs. And well, they're, they're different design bezels. And what I did is I took the charm piece off and I filed it down. They have four different styles of paint and uh, alcohol inks with the resin. And yes, I used that style with the inks and I blew it with a little tiny straw, you know, little coffee stir straws. And then um, I went back and I made sure that it was done right so it does look like the ocean is moving. So there are several different designs, and I will show you them, of the bezels. This one has seashells, and these are Florida sand from Key West and Siesta Key. This one has ocean waves and the um, coral reef over here. This one has um, a dolphin up here and some... Um, like a turtle over here, and this one has some urchin, sea urchin, and some uh, a starfish over here, and some seashells over here. But they all have different waves. Each one of them are different. There are no two water waves the same. 
They should all be black or white underneath, and you'll see what I mean by some of them being black. And I will pull one from each design in just a minute for each one of you guys to see. There is another design that's different. I only made a couple of those. The other ones are made from um, San Francisco sand. There's another one there. And then these are different. Let me show you these. I'll show you this in a second. Again, now these are different. These were done with epoxy at the bottom and then the sand in the middle. Like you're in the middle of the beach and the waters around you. And it does have crushed shells around the sand up in here. So depending on which way you want to look at it, you're still standing on the beach with the sand around you. So depending on which way you like it, you still have the sand in the beach with you. And again, I pull, I will pull one of each of those designs, like one of the Florida sand versus the San Francisco sand, which I'm about to show you. The San Francisco sand. Now, remember, if you watch the video when we got the San Francisco on our way out, the sand is much, 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 much darker. So I think they're beautiful just as much. And these are all the last of the video uh, for this video. And if you notice that they're darker, the sand is much darker. The back is sand and resin. That would be my sun thumb. The bezels are the same. So this one, the design goes all the way around. See the currents and the ocean waves. It is done with a sea green, a green, a dark blue, a medium blue, clear, and white. That's how many colors that are in each and every one of them. And then I gloss it over with another clear. It's time consuming and to make sure that they are all sealed. So there might be some, just a little bit of resin on the outside of it. But they do have about five colors in the center of each one. But again, the sand is very dark in San Francisco beaches and around um, San Francisco Bridge, the Golden Gate. If not, go back and look at the video that's right after that. You will see that uh, me actually getting it in a bottle. I will show you that uh, sand here in just a second. Look how pretty the waves come in around here. Again, each one of them came out differently. Look at the swirls with the greens in here and the blues. Look at this one. Look how the colors came out on that one. They're just, it's absolutely stunning. And before I pull that, now this was the last of my sand. I have maybe one or two more, pro or several more projects that I had on this. And let me actually, um, show you the sand. So in case that you wonder, if you did not watch the video, what color the sand looks like. Now again, this is without resin. It makes it actually look wet, just like at the beach. But this is the exact same container. Only when I take it out, and before I put it in there, I clean it, and then dry it out. Standard sand is way lighter. It's actually very soft. I'm very picky about my sand. My sand, I, I prefer, you know, I can go to beaches and the sand is too coarse, too thick. But if you notice, the sand was very fine. I'll show you again. Let me show you again. You can see if you go to beaches, the sand is very, I'm very particular about my sand. Do you see how fine that is? It is actually very, very soft. It's as soft as baby skin. So when I go to beaches, I actually wash my sand and look at the sand. So I can, I was trying to get some sand at Malibu Beach because it's very soft. But when we went there, if you go, if you watch it, the videos from our trip, we had to walk down. Oh my goodness. 
300 steps easy. And I was like, mm, no, I ain't walking back up. Um, though my daughter went up and down it with no problem, but she doesn't have screws up and down her spine. So not happy about that. I was going to ask her, but let me see which one of the ones of this one I want to share. Let me see. I'll pick one of these and one of the other ones. And one of the other ones. The three designs, and I'll show you one of each. And then we will end this video. And just know, this is just part one, guys. I have so many to share with you. I'm. This is why I want to showcase them all. So that you can understand and see them up close. And again, you're understanding why. It has taken me away and I want to show one that you will really like. This, this one's good enough, I suppose. That one. Let's do that one. Let's do that one and let's do this one. That's fine. I can put this one away so we don't have a whole bunch in front of us. This one has the two different designs here. Let's do, sorry I bounced you again. Just bouncing you around. This one down. I'm gonna leave these two out here, I think. Okay, so let me show you these three and then we'll stop the video. And then just note that the next several videos will be pop sockets. So, again, this one has the blue pop socket, like literally blue beach. And this reminds me of the water of Key West. That is the reason why I went with this. So again, I use Key West sand, and I also used uh, sand from Siesta Key. And so the waters there, it's beautiful. That's the reason why I went with this color. If you've never seen the waters in Key West or around a Caribbean island, the water is that beautiful. So that's the reason why I picked that color, and I kept going until I got that consistent color. And then you have this beautiful dolphin here, and then some crusty shells and then some of the sand inside of it. You have the star, starfish up in here and the tail of the dolphin here. There you go. I only have two of those. I don't remember what's on that other design there. You'll have to let me know if you like that design better or if you like the sand on the bottom instead. But I now have regular just crafted sand. If you guys have sand around your beaches, and you'd like to send, send me some beautiful soft sand. And it has to be soft sand, nothing, no crap in it. Around your beaches, I will be more than happy to use it. It has to be that super soft. And then if you look at this one, this one has a tan pop socket. Very pretty. You got the starfish, the urchin shells, the cro uh, croc shell. A little bitty shell here, a little dolphin up in here. Look at the beautiful colors going into the beach here. Again, this is my design. I came up with it because I spent nine years around the beaches. No, I'm really craving going back to the beach. I have to see if my husband will take me down to Corpus Christi. I really, really miss going to the beach. I need to go back to the beach. Country life, as much as I like it. I miss the ocean waves, and he plays it every night. We were going to go on another cruise for our anniversary, but COVID has totally killed it. And again, this is from San Francisco. This is a beaches, beach sand there. And then this is, has the black on the back. This is San Francisco sand. So shout out to you guys on having some beautiful sand. If you're around Malibu, please send me some sand. 
Anybody around the Siesta Key? I'll take some more sand. <laughs> I'm missing my sand from Florida. You guys up around uh, Virginia Beach, if you guys have any good sand up around there, I can't have anything in it. Unless you guys are willing to clean it. Look how beautiful that is. Look how it came out. The UV resin that I use smells almost like cherries. No, I don't purposely sniff it, but look how beautiful look at the greens up in here. It just came out so pretty. I can't promise that the, all this will be clear because water gets up inside of the uh, coral or the, the water resin, whoops, as you saw. So there it is, folks. Those are what I'm showing tonight on the pop sockets. I do hope that I am pleasing you with everything that I made. That is my design. And again, um, some of the pop socket colors. There you go. Again, there's reds and greens and blues. And that's what I have for you tonight. I will come back with more tomorrow. It's going to take me a while right now. Again, I have 390 that's in stock. I have one, I have three that are Two that are ready to go into inventory. One that I have to do something to. Three more that I have over there. I have two I have to reverse hand paint. And, um, well, actually three I have to reverse hand paint. And then I have to put a, a third layer on, well, a, a second layer and then a third layer. Um, and they'll go, they'll be done. But I'm also working on other pieces to finish. And then I have to make some more pieces this week. And what I'm working on is large pieces, but when I have extra resin, I work on little pieces at the same time. But there's a reason why I haven't showed you guys the bigger pieces yet. Um, because that's the reason why I'm buying a lot of gallons of my other resin, which is a more expensive resin, which is more expensive pieces that I'm making. And you're talking between um, $35 and uh, $80 pieces. So uh, stay with me. Um, yeah, this stuff is... The cheaper stuff, not cheaper resin, but cheaper pieces to purchase. So, um, yeah, just stay with me. And I've got some really beautiful pieces coming up. And I'm doing three rows at a time, I'm at least trying to. So um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you like. And um, even if you're not planning on purchasing, just let me know what pieces you do like. And if you like the designs that I am coming up with. And... Uh, if it gives you ideas if you're a resin um, maker. So let me know. I appreciate anything and, and just watching what I'm making and designing. Um, the one pop, pop socket that I have made that, uh, that I'm going to teach um, the guys who have seen it, and it is a piece for the guys. This is a piece for the girls that I just made. I've had about four guys go, I want that. <laughs> And I think currently I have four made. I'm in the middle of making one now that I keep going back to. It's it's pretty 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 awesome. And again, I'm trying to I'm trying to be more careful of my words anymore. Um, barrage, barrage, and um, it's pretty cool. And uh, I, I will not sell those before I teach that one. And um, even though I will showcase it, I will not put that one up for sale until I actually teach it. So uh, I will showcase it, but I won't put it up for sale until I teach that one. So anyway, see you tomorrow.